Hey guys, welcome back to my garage. Today again with the Aprilia Tuono V41100RR. If you own one of this machine or an RSV4 uh, between the years of 2017 and 2020, you most likely have received one of those notice. That says that there is a recall on the brake pads on the front brakes because the braking material can come loose and therefore affect your ability to stop the bike. And on a bike like this that gets up to ungodly speeds, you do want the ability to stop the bike with good brakes. But enough of the chit chat, let's get on it. You might be asking yourself, why am I doing this myself rather than take it to an Aprilia dealer? Where I tried to take it to an Aprilia dealer, the thing is the recall says it takes 25 minutes to do it and it's free if you take it to uh, an authorized service dealer. The problem was when I showed up uh, after I take an appointment to it, they told me they would take two hours just to take a look at the pads and figure out if they need to be replaced. If that was the case, it was another two weeks because uh, they are running short or whatever, they don't have the pads in stock, which is a mistake. If you have a recall and you sold a certain number of Aprilia, you might wanna get a certain number of brake pads, which by the way, you're gonna sell anyway. So to make it short, I have a bad temper, so instead of uh, waiting for it i decided uh, you and uh, i'm gonna do it myself the the recall letter also says that if you already replace the brake pads there is no need to bring the bike in therefore i'm gonna put no oem brake pads which i would have done anyway and uh, and call it good uh, the job is very easy and i see no reason to take it there and be treated the way i was treated so here it is i chose ebc double h center pads and uh, i'm gonna replace it in your case you might be too far from a dealer or it would cost you way more to take the bike to a dealer than to just order the brake pads and do it yourself if you owned a motorcycle over a, a certain period of time most likely you did do a brake pad replacement yourself and if you didn't here i am i'm going to show you exactly how it's not rocket science it's literally two bolts per side but before we begin with taking the bike apart let me say thank you to my patrons uh, they're really coming through and as a matter of fact this is the shirt that the top tier patron are gonna get and uh, first thing we're gonna do is uh, remove the caliper. This caliper over here is a, a monoblock caliper. So unlike some other bikes where you can just pull the pin and pull the brakes out, you actually need to pull the caliper out of the, the bike. First step, very simple. Grab an eight millimeter Allen key and remove both those bolts over here. The bike requiring this recall are fairly new, so nothing should be hard to remove. Uh, all the bolts should come out fairly easy. Another thing to note is that behind, uh, between the caliper and the fork, uh, there is uh, this uh, concave washer or spacer over here. And same thing, we're gonna remove that and put it down. Let's kind of remove it nice and easy. It's a tight space, but you wiggle your way out. To remove the brake pads from the caliper, it's fairly easy. You push the brake pad to the center of the caliper uh, like this. Once the brake pads is in the center of the caliper, it just slides out. Here we go. And that's it. Now, you can avoid to touch anything else 
up to this point. The, the brake pads are out. Those are gonna go in the trash and the new ones are gonna go on. But before we actually put new brake pads in, we need to push the pistons back in. When you push the pistons back in, there are a few things to pay attention to. First of all, do not scratch the side of the piston itself and possibly clean it up because the piston is gonna retract back in, so you might wanna clean it up. If between when you got the bike and now you decided to add fluid to the reservoir because you saw the fluid go down a bit, big mistake because now that I'm gonna push the, the pistons over here back in, the oil it most likely is going to overspill. Uh, there is only so much space in there. If you add oil and you, have a, you don't have a leak, you added too much oil to the system. But before I push those back in, I'm gonna clean it up with uh, a brake cleaner. After you clean the pistons, if you also clean the old brake pads, you can actually put it back in place and use them to push the pistons back inside. All right, it's time to put the new brake pads back in there. Now, make sure you didn't touch with your oily fingers any of the disc or the top part of the brake pads, the one in contact with the disc, obviously, uh, or rotor, whatever you wanna call it, depends where on the globe you're situated. But it's very simple. Uh, we didn't remove the spring which is inside, uh, we didn't remove anything but the pad themselves, so the installation is exactly the reverse of uh, earlier. You just put it in through the center, push, push in and down. And that's it. One is in, I'm gonna put the other one in, start at an angle, push in and up and that's it both brake pads are in now i know some of you will be talking about putting brake grease on them and this and that the manual does not call for any brake grease on the calipers so if the aprilia engineer decided it doesn't need any anti-squeak uh, grease on there, I'm not gonna put it on there. I'm not an engineer, I'm assuming they know better. At this point, once the brake pads are inside, it's time to put it back on, uh, on the bike. Nice and easy. And if you push the pistons back in enough, this one, it's literally a nice and easy in. And then spacers, because you don't wanna forget those spacers and top bolt in there, like that. Spacer on the bottom, like that. And bottom bolt in there. And now it's time to torque it. And they need to be torqued at 50 newton meters according to the Aprilia maintenance manual. If that 50 newton meter is wrong, <laughs> Sorry guys, I can't do anything about it. That's what the manual calls for. I had problem uh, in the past with the scrambler where the, the maintenance manual called for a certain amount of torque. It was not the right one. So the manual for the Aprilia calls for 50 Newton meters. If that is not the right torque and you know better, just leave a comment below and I'll pin it to the top. At this point, grab the brake lever, give it a couple of pumps. At first, the brake lever is gonna go all the way in and then it's gonna get firmer because the pads are gonna get back and touch the brake rotor. And you're done, that's it. So 25 minute job compared to two weeks, allegedly. Uh, I'll take my 25 minute job. On top of that, this is my bike. I care about this bike. So 
everything is gonna be done the way it's supposed to be. The brake calipers are gonna get cleaned, the, the bottom of the fork is gonna get cleaned. In my opinion, I'm gonna do a way more careful job than a guy over there that is not his bike and it just wants to get it done. Now, I'm not saying that everybody is like that, but unfortunately nowadays, uh, it, it, sometimes it is like that. So I like doing maintenance uh, to my own bike and, uh, and that's it. <laughs> so now before you go to the racetrack and do 200 mile an hour on it, I recommend to go around the block and test the brake, make sure everything is fine. Then take a look and, uh, and make sure everything is still where it's supposed to be. Same thing for the first 100 miles, you want to take it easy, give time to the brake pads to set on those rotors. So take it easy and that's it. As always, for everything I used in this video, tools, parts, check the description down below. As well as if you like what I'm doing and you get any value out of it and you want to join my patrons, check the description down below. If you select top tier, you're gonna get this shirt for free. If not, if you choose one of the lower tiers, you're still gonna get a lot of perks. Go check it out. Meh, why not? On that note, if you like the video, like, if you love the video, subscribe and question. I was thinking about an HP Corsa uh, instead of this gigantic uh, space cannon over here. Let me know what you think, leave a comment down below, maybe it's time for the exhaust uh, to get off the bike. But as always, work on your bike, stay safe. As you guys can tell, I am, <laughs> and I'll see you next time. There is plenty of meat, unfortunately, left on those pads, but as I said before, A hundred plus mile an hour motorcycle, you don't want to doubt your brakes, especially the front brakes. <laughs>